Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome into another 2020 set review. Today we're looking at set number 43175, Anna and Elsa's Storybook Adventures, and it has 133 pieces and is retailing for $19.99 USD and $24.99 Canadian. And this is actually the second in a series of four Disney Princess Storybooks that you can actually buy right now. The other three are, of course, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, as well as Mulan. And honestly, I was really just wanting to get this set, not only because I thought it was just such a cool and unique and cute idea, having this sort of pop-up book, but I also wanted to get all the Frozen 2 sets. And then when I was actually building this thing, I was like, oh my goodness, like there's barely any parts or anything in this. I, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's really worth the price or anything. And then I started to build it and I started to actually see all the pieces and all of the stickers and the little, the little, I don't even know what to call them, micro dolls. They are just so adorable and I fell in love with this set. So much so that I went and I ordered the other three because I just want all four of them. They are just something special. And, and anyways, I, I could talk about this and we'll hear my final thoughts about this at the end. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's move over to the actual book and then the little micro doll. Let's take a look at the book itself. And right away, while I was pouring out all the pieces, there's one thing that I noticed. Besides the cool book design and everything that they made, this part here is printed. This piece alone, I think, is just... You can't put a price on this. This is just, it is so beautiful. This is such a cool looking piece on its own. I've never gotten a piece this size or anything. But then to go above and beyond and to have this beautiful printing here and exclusive on the silver as well because the other books are golden. So that's really, really cool. The actual color of this book piece is exclusive to the set as well as the spine here in that color. This is a actual sticker here on the the spine of the book with the Lego engraving. That's really, really cool. And these little peg pieces in silver, that's really awesome. And then you could also write your name if you wanted to on the actual book. You could see their uh, little Olaf sticker. And um, the only thing that I really have to complain about on the outside before we open it up with the lock here is I wish that they could have added a little bit detail here. Just a little bit. A little bit of detail right there in the corners of the books would have been really great to actually have maybe this blue here in one of those parts Parts. Like I think that we have a part already like that that would fit perfectly there having it in the color of this of the spine Would just look really really great and kind of tie the whole thing together or if you could even put studs along uh, Or have the studs here so you could actually decorate the entire trim of the book would really tie this thing together I think that that would be really really awesome and really add to the book But besides that it's really cool. So you have a little lock mechanism here This is again exclusive because the book is silver and the other ones are golden so you just pop the little lock off there and you could bend it forward if you wanted to and it just attaches to the two by two flat round tile there with the stud on it and then you open it up and you just you could see here just it, it's so so awesome like this is the this is the I guess from the the bird's eye view of the book and when you actually lay it down flat you can see here that you do need to actually uh, open it up a little bit because it's a little pop-up book. So when you do close it, the, the piano folds up there as well as the top of the Castle of Arendelle. So you can see that things are a little empty on the inside. And the only other thing that I wish that these books kind of did was have more studs so that you don't have to just have the figures loosely around. But they do stand really well. Um, but I just wish that there were some spots, maybe even on these parts here, that you could actually attach the minifigures. Like, if you had some studs there, you could have them actually standing there in the actual book. But I get why they're not doing that, just because, like, it would really mess with you being able to close in everything. But if you just throw the minifigures on in and you close it up, it works well. But um, let's look at the castle itself before I show you the sticker sheet that they included. Um, the outside, or I guess this is, yeah, this is the outside here and a little pathway going up into the castle. And you've got some leaves and different things there. And I really like the print here. That looks really awesome. with like the cobblestone and the different tiles and the flower there um, with the crest of Arendelle in the center there. The little crown or the flower shape. But that's a, just a really cool design. As well as up here, like these are really, really awesome. These are printed parts 
brand new. Those are really cool. So you get three of them in this set. Uh, this is a sticker and it is different than the ones from the actual Frozen 2 sets because uh, those are on like a silver sort of sheet. Um, and you get some really cool sticker there. The little banners, of course, matching the same colors there. And this is really awesome. These are actually the new candlestick pieces in gold. And that is really cool to get here. Uh, for the first time for me and just some of the parts here are really really awesome on the top there You do have this really awesome looking tile there and it just it's so detailed and it looks really cool So you could have some of the little micro dolls standing up there Not really sure what this is meant to be for and I've looked at the box and everything and it doesn't really say anything about that it just has it like that i wish that that was maybe like an exclusive sticker or something you could put there of like the family portrait or something that they do have uh lying around in the castle i don't know that would be that'd be pretty cool you do have a little bed there with a sticker and that's a cool little sticker there like having it uh it's not fully like tucked in so you could see that um, it is meant to be a bed and then you also have the regular generic portrait there or the the painting with the ship It's a little dark if you think about it so given uh, what happens to their parents and everything But you got a little piano there for them to sing in front of and then you also get this two by four Piece here, and I believe that this was in some of the other sets for Frozen 2 But you'll notice that this is really empty and the reason behind that is they actually give you a sticker sheet for you to customize your book and decorate it how you want so I don't know what Lego's obsession is with stickers and extra stickers this year round and uh but yeah this is this is new this is uh this is all these little stickers that you could decorate and put around the entire uh on on this and I don't think that they're probably repealable they're probably the same sort of like stickiness and everything of the other sets but um yeah like see if that was a flat tile that'd be so great to be able to put that little portrait on there but um, I'll show you how they set it up and I'll put it the way that they have it in the instructions Also, I just think that it's worth mentioning that you can actually put the sticker sheet on the inside Like it is actually almost the exact size for you to be able to throw it in and close the book on up for like traveling around So that's really cool. You could decorate it on the go if you wanted to all right now that it's Decorated and everything I tried my best to actually make it the same way that they did in the instructions um, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a look from up above here. You can see you have some stairs or, or something like going down, some studs and everything. Uh, you have some flowers, a little carpet there with some of the the little sheets with the different names and characters that they were doing when they were playing charades and I guess that's just them when they throw it after they get it right and then you get some little pastries maybe on a table next to the couch that they're all sitting on and then here you've got some music sheets on the floor next to the piano a book some snow and in the pictures they actually have like Olaf standing next to it because now he has his uh, perma flurry or whatever that is uh, you got a little table up here with uh, some food. You got the timer for charades. You also have a door up there that you could actually, I guess, exit through. You also have a little portrait of Sven and Olaf there, which is just really, really cute. You also have a little bell. I guess maybe you can ring it uh, once they run out of time. And then um, you've also got some gloves there on the floor that, of course, belong to Elsa. And that's pretty much it for the inside of the castle. On the outside, you have a little flower bed there on both sides, as well as some carrots for Sven. Bit of a shame he's not in the set. I think that it would have been really good to get a little baby version of him. You also have some snow there, as well as some leaves, of course, because it does take place in autumn or fall. And then a bush I just placed there. I couldn't really see where to put it, but it felt empty there. But uh, yeah, so that's all the stickers that you get. And it's it's cute that it is telling this story. It's So this is the, the little charades thing going on. So that's, that's really cute that it is telling that story on the inside. And then, of course, you have them gearing up for their adventure on the outside, getting carrots together. Of course, you've got the sled and everything, which we'll take a look at after I show you the instructions. If you're regular on the channel, you know I'm not really one for showing instructions, but I just want to show how simple they are and how small it is. I guess this could fit inside of the book itself probably, but it's just kind of interesting. It's really, really simple building everything together. That's the easy part I would say, but on the inside or the, the, the flip side, they're really tiny, the instructions, as well as it's not very clear which side you put uh, which 
part of the building on like this side when you're building the piano there's no arrow telling you oh it goes on this side or whatever so you really have to squint because you can't really tell but in the back there you see the black so I'm assuming that's the side that the piano goes on of course the middle archway is like the, the middle part but then this side again it doesn't really show you can't see the bed I guess you can kind of see the pillow there but it's just it's not very helpful I would say it doesn't really show you where to place it and everything but uh, I do quite like it like it, it it's cute that it is so simple and the little sled build at the top but um, yeah I, I just wasn't expecting this for the instructions figured we'd start with the sleigh build and it's really cute uh, it, it, it gets the job done it's simple it's cute it can of course hold only one of the micro dolls in it which is a bit of a shame I wish that all of them could kind of fit on it but I understand why it can't and here is little micro doll Anna and she's so cute I love her face print so this is just a regular mini doll head but they've made it like cartoony and just cute and oh my goodness like her little winking face is so so adorable I love that her eyebrow just fits perfectly with this braided hair and just like they've captured the look from the actual castle I think that it looks really really awesome and uh, I like this new piece and you'll see here with Elsa she can actually hold a little flame piece so it has one of the I guess that's the same size as a hole in the head for the different hair pieces and different things like that so it looks really cool and she has this cute little facial expression and you just it feels like Elsa and it's really good as well as she's using the same hair piece from the other Frozen 2 sets and this is her purple outfit from the castle Arendelle and uh, there's nothing going on in the back or anything and here is Kristoff and he looks really really cute here like it just it just it, it, it feels like Kristoff this hair piece in this color isn't too common so it's cool to be getting it in this set and just the the outfit it just really captures his look and everything from the actual castle which is a shame we've never didn't really get this version of him this outfit in a mini doll yet um, but it, it, it's cool to get it here and here is Olaf, and he <laughs> looks so adorable. He's using the regular Olaf head there with uh, the with the the unicorn top or whatever sort of uh, piece there in orange for the carrot nose. And then his little torso is so adorable. It's meant to be just a mini figurehead, but it has this cute little printing of his hands as well as the three little lumps of coal and it's just really really cute I think that this is just this is just so perfect for him well there you have it everyone that is my review of the Anna and Elsa's storybook adventures and you know what I I think that the price might just be a little bit much I think that they could definitely uh, take off five dollars at least but you know what I really really like this set I love the idea of it and there's something special about this I think about wanting to go out and get them all and I think that uh, the figures here the little micro dolls that you're getting are really adorable this is by far my favorite thing right here there's just something really special about this piece I don't know what it is and I don't know it's just incredible and I actually this set made me go out and right away I, while I was building it I just ordered the other three right away because I just I wanted all four of them because I think that this is so unique and if this is how Disney Princess is going to continue down the line I will pick these up because I think that there's really something special in these and I, I can't wait to see what else they'll do. I would love to see them do Sleeping Beauty, get a little Micro Maleficent and uh, Aurora and like, I don't know, like a little Moana and Maui. Like there's just, there's so many great things that they could do with this. Oh my goodness, like Aladdin. Like that would have been, that would be perfect right now with the movie and everything. Like I really hope that we get something like that in the summer wave. I think that they really, I hope that these do well because there's they're just they're spectacular I, I I'm so impressed but anyways everyone I hope that you did enjoy this let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this uh, anyways I could continue to talk about this but I hope that you did enjoy this and I hope that you all have a great day I'll see you all in the next